Hi there, it's Nina Nandagopal at almostpractical.com and today I just wanted to introduce you to the planner pad which is a paper planner that I have used and find that it really helps with my organization of the different projects that I have going on in my life and I just wanted to quickly go over with you how I use it and how I incorporate the funnel system that planner pad advocates so when you open up the, the planner pad is a two page per week layout as you see here and it's divided into three sections the top section is your weekly lists of activities by categories the middle section are your daily things to do and the bottom section is for your appointments and pretty much looks like a traditional planner that you might get from somewhere else. The way the funnel system works is that you start at the top and everything comes down into, into the bottom. And at the top you have these places for different lists that you can create. And each list could represent a different project you have going on in your life. If you're a student, it could be the subjects that you're, you know, your different classes, your math, your English, your chemistry, um, maybe a column for home and a column for self-development. If you are a, if you have a business, you might have a list for your different clients. And again, for home, for self-development. Um, if you're a blogger, you might have columns for your different posts that you're working on, or you could uh, have lists for the different areas that you have to deal with, social media, posting, email. So just in this example, what I'm going to do is treat it like, like I had some, a few different clients to work on. So I'll have client one. Client two, client three, and so forth, and maybe a home list. So on Sunday, I usually do a planning session and kind of brainstorm what I have going on for the week. So I might realize that I have to do a proposal for client one and have to follow up with client two. And, you know, for home, buy some milk maybe. So once I have all my lists populated, um, and this is where I would, you know, even as the week, it's a work in progress, so as the week goes on, I might add items to each list. I then go to my second section and say, well, what, what days do these items have to happen on? Now this proposal for client one, maybe I'm meeting with them on Wednesday. So I better do the work for that proposal on Monday and Tuesday so that I have it ready for Wednesday. So I'll put client one proposal right up. And on Tuesday, maybe I'll do client one proposal review. Now, client two, I have to follow up. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be busy with this proposal on Monday and Tuesday, and maybe I don't really have a deadline for when I need to follow up with client two. So maybe I'll do that on Wednesday because I seem to have more time available. Oh, and I have to buy milk. And since I'm really out of milk, I think maybe I better get that on Monday as well. So now I have the things that I really need to get done by the day I need to do it. And what I then need to do is filter it down again into my appointments. So at this point I probably would have already filled out some 
sort of scheduled items that I have um, from my iPhone. I do use a, a phone uh, electronic calendar to keep track of actual appointments. So I would have filled in Monday. I have an appointment at 8 from 8 to say 10. And then I have another appointment from 1 to say 4. And here's what, sort of where the magic of the planner pad happens. I know I have these appointments filled in and I know I have these two things to do. So when am I going to get these done? Well now, because I have it all in sort of one place, I can see when my open slots are and when I am available to actually get this work done. So this client one proposal, I can either do between 10 and 12 or after four, four and after. Well, pretty much I will know I want to cut my day off at about five o'clock and, you know, deal with the kids and dinner and all those sort of things at home. So I better work on this proposal either here or here. So I think maybe it will take me maybe an hour of work. So I'm going to put in my client proposal work here. Now I know I have to buy milk, so if I it will take me a half an hour to run to the to the store and pick that up. So I know I'm pretty much free after three o'clock. I'll put it right in here at five. In the five o'clock hour, I will buy my milk, um, and then I'll be done for the day pretty much. So this is how you know this is kind of a basic example. Typically, your, your lists are going to be pretty long. You're going to have a lot of projects going on, a lot of steps to do. And if you take the steps from your brainstorm and actually assign them to a day and then actually find an open time slot where you can get that work done, you have a better chance of pl plowing through your to-do list and accomplishing a lot. Um, just as a side note, and I think you can see it over here, there is a little extra space in the planner pad for notes and calls, a list of that. And then it has an area called expenses here, but I don't actually use it for expenses. I usually call this area waiting. Because a lot of times the ball is not in your court and whatever it is that needs to get done, somebody else has to get back to you about, whether it's a phone call you made and someone has to call you back or whether you gave someone a task to do and they need to complete it and get back to you. So I usually list out, if I'm waiting on something, I'll list it out here in this area so I don't forget about it. It's a nice reminder. Um, the planner pad has nice, it comes with a really nice thick paper. So I do use a lot of color, um, you know, highlighters, colored pens, gel pens. Um, Sharpies, I feel like they kind of go through a little bit. Um, but gel pens, colored pencils, colored pens work really great. I post it, you know, use a lot of these little post it notes to, to make things pop out for me so I don't forget. Um, so, again, the planner pad is a really great tool. Um, some of the other pages, this is the, the um, at the beginning of each month, there's a full calendar. There's a place for notes at the end of each month. And there's a lot of other, you know, in the beginning and at the end, some good sections um, for future planning and things of that nature. So um, that's my introduction for you to the planner pad. Um, the way to get the planner pad is at plannerpads.com. This isn't available in your local office supply store. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. My name is Nina Nandagopal, and you can find me at almost practical.com. Thanks a lot.